What to do, my Spartan crew, Mr. L in the place to be getting ready to load up for week five of Overwatch competition. Today's game takes place on Oasis with Villa Park taking on Rancho Santa Margarita, the Raptors. So stay tuned. Maps, teams are being set up, and then I'll go switch over to the actual competition. Actually, before I go anywhere, joining me today, why don't you introduce yourself? Who is with me on the cast? Let's go. That's how we do. So stay tuned as we're going to have some awesome commentary and fun as we watch VP take on Rancho Santa Margarita. See you guys back in a few. It was?
what up everybody shout out to coconut Lori, mrs rhodes thank you for tuning in and joining us today um just so you guys know for today's today's stream i'm not alone why don't you say hi to the world uh hi uh my name is naveen i'm captain of the vphh valor and b team and i will be joining mr l today in our uh, overwatch broadcast yes he is so i'm not alone we're gonna have fun today watching villa park take and take on excuse me take on rancho santa margarita so it should be a good game. We should be taking off and flying out to Oasis shortly. Uh, we're just setting up the stream rules on Overwatch so people, you guys can see what perspective we're coming from. But it looks like they're asking if we're ready. So pretty soon we will be departing to where, Naveen? Oasis. Yeah, we're going on an Oasis, everybody. Should be fun and then you guys will get to hear some game audio because for some odd reason in the custom custom game mode as they're setting it up there, there's no background noise like there isn't just general overwatch when you just have the screen sitting there robert kelly thanks welcome thanks for being here welcome to the chat Hey, Naveen. Yes. Since we're on stream right now, you you want to know some crazy facts about Oasis? What's some crazy facts about Oasis, Mr. L? So according to the world of the web in Overwatch, Oasis is one of the most advanced cities in the game. It's a jewel in the rising Arabian desert. It's pretty cool, huh? That is impressive. I know. Whenever I play Oasis, I love looking at the really cool hover cars passing by. Yeah, I like jumping in front of them, trying to avoid the enemy, and then getting hit by the car. <laughs> That's always one of my favorites. All right, so here. the three possibilities for today's match on Oasis, we have City Center, Guardians, and University. Now, obviously, we don't know where we're starting first when it comes to the maps, but, um, you know, I like the idea of University going to University first because that give, puts us inside the library which it really looks like a library i'm not sure why it's called the university it looks like a library but you know what i'm not blizzard i didn't come up with the name for it but oh here we go going into the game let's see where we go where are we heading off to first oh it looks like we're going to the gardens press ah yeah let's see this heroes that's exactly what i want to see cool 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 yeah, we should be good. And it looks like they gave me access to fly around the whole map. Are we going to go to the sky? Nah, it's almost battle time, but let's take it up and let's refocus from the sky down. So the point in this match is to hold this middle section that we're looking at right now. The team that can hold it the longest, capture the point, will win this round one. Uh, since this is a kind of a... a Offense defensive round, we you know each team gets their shot and then we go on to the next map. It is the best of five, so we'll see how today goes. This is, I believe, the first time we face off with Rancho Santa Margarita. There's traffic, nice and steady. Looks like Villa Park is the red team coming on to point right now, but it looks like Rancho Santa Margarita already dropped on point. Looks like a battle in the middle. We got Saint playing May. See how many ice walls we get separating the teams together. They did separate their Reaper, so now we can focus on the Reaper and get that kill. Taking out the Moira. Moira teleported out. I will not like defeat it so easily. It looks like Reaper is switching heroes. Right now, Winston is a. Uh, Iced off and the rest of the team. Oh, but the ice wall goes down. A Jaybird as Ana. You guys are curious what the loadout looks like. This is. Let me see if it gives it to me. We got Villa Park running Reaper, May, Ana, Zarya, Reinhardt, and then Mercy. 
A Darshan who's on fire as Reinhardt. The big D holding him down as the big tank. Looks like Reaper's trying to harass from the right hand side of the screen right now. Got separated from his team by the Maywall. Nice job, Saint. Oh, looks like Santa Margarita's coming in with an Echo. Zarya bubbled herself to create a little protection for her, but actually Echo's holding the left side flank. Oh, with the May ult, trying to freeze off the team. Some of them backed out and are dropping back into the middle of the garden. Reaper ult eliminated by Villa Park right there. Looks like Saint is chasing down the Winston, but fell to the Winston. We got Echo from above harassing them. Usually that takes a 76 or a Cassidy to take out the flying characters. I mean, a Diva could help here, but let's not switch our tanks out. And that Echo's really putting in work up there. Oh, shattered, but only got the Reinhardt. Tank versus tank. Tank versus tank. Willow Park has 67% of the points so far right now. We wait for Villa Park to probably regroup. Not necessarily reset, just regroup and come in as a team to do a nice little team push against Rancho Santa Margarita's. Against the Raptors right here. Oh, Zara's chasing down the Winston. Oh. Oh, nice ult. Got a couple. We got the revive right there. Our mercy. Bringing back one of our players into the game. Oh, it looks like Mar Oh, was Monkey raging? Nah, he hasn't altered yet. Wow. It's a pretty even match so far. You look at the numbers, the percentage. That Echo, though. They need to find a solution for that Echo. Oh, they got Lucio boost. Drop the beat on them. Oh, overtime because Villa Park's still holding on to the point. Oh, that Reaper old cleared out Saint from. Oh, Saint's still there. He actually avoided that. Throws off the Reaper. Walled himself off from any damage. But unfortunately, that did not work out for him. So, round one looks to be going to the Raptors. Not too shabby. That was probably some of the most intense. Or the most intense challenge we've seen so far. What up, Joe? Welcome to the chat. Everybody, welcome to the chat. Welcome. Ask us questions. We're here to not only cast, but to have a conversation with you all. Right, Naveen? In case you guys forgot, Naveen is here with me today. I mean, I don't know if you've seen Saint play a DPS shooter like Cassidy, but if he's on point, you're going to see some nice team kills and damages happening right here. That Echo, though, man. That Echo is harassing the team. Oh, took out the Reaper. Nice. And took out Kawhi Wolf. And he's got High Noon. He's building up his ult really fast on this. Oh, five player kill streak for Saint. Darshan's going a little higher than he should right now. Let's just hold the choke and watch and make sure that the Raptors do not drop up from the top point. 
But it looks like they're still kind of holding off behind their entryway. But right now, Villa Park is kind of holding them back near, not completely near spawn, but they regrouped and now they're doing a team push into the first, into the choke, into the, into the library, aka university. Oh, that was an interesting reverse shatter. Oh, they fell through the hole. No! Oh, Diva Bomb did not work out right there. As the Ryan Shield protected himself and the other teammates. Now it looks like Villa Park is going to be regrouping. Got the one cat playing for Jeet. Looks like Darshan's dropping on point. Going Reinhardt versus Reinhardt. Mithrum on D.Va. I think Mithrum needs to charge that Echo and... Just take the echo out of the game. Good job, guys. See, I'm on a 10 player kill streak, guys. Reinhardt eating up that Winston attack. Saint from the side trying to flank them out. Looks like they're trying to regroup to do a team push again through the choke. Oh, Monkey dove in. That's a distraction. Opening up the door for the rest of the team to kind of dive in right behind him. Oh, Reaper ulting. A little Blossom, but it doesn't seem like the Blossom got many of the VP players out. It looks like Reaper Stai went back to playing Reaper, so we'll see how that works out. Sam needs to reheal. A little charge back on... <laughs> Just some colliding with Reinhardt below. Oh, we got a Diva Bomb already. At what point do you drop the Diva Bomb here at universities, knowing that there's that hole right there in the middle? Oh, it looks like the Raptors monkey's raging, going primal on Villa Park with the Diva Bomb in effect. Does not get the Winston. Takes out the team's Reinhardt. It looks like a battle of Reaper versus Reaper. We got Jaybirds using the Coalescence on the Raptors right now. A little damage orb on the Echo. Bye bye, Echo. You guys hear that? Bye bye, Echo. Echo. Almost looks, now that we're at overtime, that the Raptors might try to regroup for another push. Maybe even have their... Well, they switched out from Winston, so they might have D.Va flying in. Oh, there goes their baby D.Va. There goes Lucio down the hole. Swish! And this round goes to Villa Park. Wow, 1-1. One, 1-1. One. One, one. Good job, Villa Park. Got to hold down the site. Score. 1-1. It's been a while since I've seen us go 1 1 against the team, so now we got to see what. Oh, we're going to Gardens. Usually, in most cases, when it goes 2 0, it's usually we see the two maps University and then now we get to see Gardens. So it's kind of cool now we get to see the team actually being pushed. Seeing themselves a little stressed, it looks like. Jaybirds needs a little, little coffee pickup to go into this next round as she stopped by the coffee barista for a little help. Got Mithrin running D.Va once again. The big D Darshan as Reinhardt. Loki, that's probably his strongest hero. And you got the Raptors already on points, and now it's a battle for point here. Which tank will take out who? Diva versus Diva, Reinhardt versus Reinhardt. Oh, that Reinhardt. 
Our Reinhardt was taken out by the Reaper. Looks like Villa Park's gonna take a step back, maybe even die to regroup, come back out as a team. Sometimes that's like the quickest way to re recover. Thanks, when you see if you can pick get any picks right here. That rate's gonna run out, so you might be able to do a little damage on Reaper. Oh. There's multiple access points to this part of the Guardian. I'm trying to just figure out why the Spartans want to continue going through these two main corridors. The Diva's harassing our Cassidy. Oh, there goes their Lucio. That's one support now. Oh, Diva had a mech. Now you gotta deal with Baby Diva. We got Diva Bomb ready, so if the team groups up, they can bomb away. Moira disappeared out of the fight. Oh, she cloned. She cloned our Cassidy. Is Diva trying to boop Lucio? All right, so for the moment, Lucio is sleeping, waiting for a comeback. Right now, though, the Raptors hold the point 76% to Villa Park's 10%. So, one of our heroes should stay back to build up that percentage point. Oh, they're using Coalescence to try to break through. Oh, little Diva Bomb at entry. Their Ryan put up shield, so it took no damage from that Diva Bomb. Reaper's blossoming on the team right now. Now our Reaper's blossoming. Didn't work out as he got no picks off that blossom. But our Sean's holding down the point by himself. We got a high noon coming in. Looking to see if we can get any picks off this battle right here. The one cat better watch out for that echo. Looks like the Raptors Reinhardt went for a pin and missed. Looks like Villa Park might have to regroup and come back out as a team or drop in from the backside, but Jaybirds is on point by themselves trying to contest. Point going returning to the Raptors at the moment as they build up the percentage of control. Villa Park's coming in with a Coalescence push. But the Raptors are returning the favor. Oh, the Diva Bomb got nobody on that. And their Reinhardt was pinned right next to it. Ooh. Looks like the Raptors took the first map from Villa Park. Nick Cruz, you don't have to worry about that, my dude. You don't have to worry about that, kid. That's your old school's loss. If you're coming to VP, we're going to take care of you. All right, switch it to the intermission team while the intermission screen, excuse me, while the team decides what map they're going to go on to next. Being that Villa Park took their first loss of the season, now we got to see what they choose to play on the next map. Pretty crazy. Pretty crazy. I wonder how they feel. This is definitely a first for them. I have faith in VP to bring this back. Crazy. 
All right, so now Villa Park's options are we're going on a hybrid map, which means King's Row, Blizzard, Bo Blizzard World, or Numbani. Dude, personally, I like Blizzard World the best. That's one of my favorite maps. Ah, oh, dude, I got to disagree. My favorite map is King's Row. Really? Yeah. It's a cool map, too. You put, you put Saint on King's Row as a Widowmaker, and it works perfectly because of all the high ground and all the picks you can get with his killer accuracy. That is true. You know, Widow is a character with a high skill cap, and I feel like Saint reaches pretty high up there. I'm not going to knock Blizzard World. Blizzard World is a fun map, and that first choke entry point is a good little battle spot to see how the teams actually tackle it, right? Because yeah. they either go through that main choke, or they flush left and come down, go below, and then come up, and then try to surprise the team from a side angle on that choke. So, you know, both maps are cool, but like I said, King's Row is probably my favorite. Learning the game, that's the map that I got to learn all the angles on the best. Yeah, King's Row was a good starter's map. That's uh, I feel like most people learned how to play on that one. I don't know, but on King's Row, I've had the opportunity to play as Lucio, and wall riding on King's Row is a blast. Oh, yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. I agree. New body is also pretty fun to wall ride on. Yeah. Definitely my favorite Lucio map. Looks like VP is picking, though. Oh, it looks like they are going to pick King's Row. Oh. Yes, sir. How'd I know, man? How'd I know? <laughs> Mind reading, Mr. L. So you guys are listening to us conversate right now. It looks like Villa Park's going to fly into King's Row. King's Row does take place in the UK. That was its site of inspiration when it came to the design. So we're going to fly into the UK and have a nice night battle in this amazing digital city. Home of, I believe, Tracer. Yes, yes, indeed. It is Tracer's hometown. Very cool to see that. Now entering King. Boom, here we go. Initiating match. Let me check my settings again. Boom, boom, boom. Yes. I need to figure out the, the overlay mode for overwatch when you can see like their icons on the floor when you fly up from the sky ready for battle oh okay so king's row being is a hybrid map so you get a little bit of both a little push of uh, one you gotta win the point once you win the point then you gotta push the payload all the way from the church tower through one two three choke points look at that though we do get to see saints widowmaker never ceases to amaze in most cases, when you see a Widowmaker show up on King's Row, one, it's try to get an initial scout, and then get initial picks after the scouting. <laughs> but from the looks of it, it looks like Villa Park has a hammy and a diva up top taking a peek and seeing what the Raptors are bringing out to the field. Two, one. I know uh, Darsh has been working on his hammy. I'm excited to see it. This first choke is very important to push through. If a team struggles here, they're going to struggle for most of the map. Oh, there goes that Winston shield. Looks like Saints gained some picks. Or causing damage. Hasn't got an official pick yet. But the Raptors did lose their Winston. Just lost their tank. Lost the support. They just saw the, Hul the Julio, the Lucio in control. But now, Villa Park will push on to... The Try to hold and win over this first point. Looks like they got access to it, pushing everybody, pushing the enemy team back. And they did push through the first choke pretty well, so now we gotta wait and see how they win over this point and get through this next choke that the Raptors are coming through right now. Oh, there goes Lucio. He wasn't agreeing with that beat. Down. Uh, time to stop the payload. Villa Park won this first stop point. Now we watch the payload come out. Let's get this EMP where it needs to be. The cool thing about the payload is that now you can actually use that as protection. Our Ana can hide behind it. He'll dart up the team and anti the opponents as that is a form of cover for the team. Oh, Diva's going up top for the Raptors. Doesn't quite make it, but then can harass the Villa Park team at this angle. Looks like Saints still widowing. Well, 
Whole team's focusing on D.Va right now. Now D.Va's into baby D.Va mode because she was taken out of mech. Gotta watch out for that Reaper on the other side as the battle ensues at the second choke. I'm glad you're enjoying the stream, Robert. <laughs> oh, a Blossom on the Raptor side. Unfortunately, that got none of the Villa Park players because they were too far past the second choke. But it is a battle for choke point number two as Villa Park pushed the payload through, but it has not made it through. And it looks like the payload is slowly moving back. Saint switched over to Farah. And we have a Mercy, so we might see a little Pharmacy combo to try to get through the point and to hold down. Oh, I've never understood. How do you put a robot to sleep, Naveen? I, I, <laughs> one of the biggest Overwatch questions of all time. Uh, I need to ask my friends at, oh, at, at Blizzard. I'm like, how does a robot fall to sleep? Looks like Darshan's gone primal. He's raging. He's gone bananas and now is no longer in the game. But just got the revive. That one cat's known for her timely revives in the middle of battles, and it just works out. Oh, there goes their baby diva. As we push through choke two, going around the corner, about to go in to the underworld. You guys know any of the tracer lore? That's where people got pushed into because certain people don't get along. It's crazy, right? It's kind of like our world. That's true. And we just all get along. Nice, All right, checkpoint has been made. Let's take a look at what's going on over here. So there's obviously two two corners the teams can push through. Obviously, Villa Park's about to push into the left. The Raptors could hold off that back corner on the right to cause damage. And it looks like the Valkyrie, the not the Valkyrie, the Barrage from Saint caused a little damage, but the Raptors are still pretty much fully intact. Ooh, it looks like, oh, Echo showed up and said, bye, Farah. Sent him far away. Oh, they dropped the beat. Villa Park's bringing the heat. Oh, Diva Bomb. Who's going to get hit by the Diva Bomb? Not too bad. Darshan, our tank, did get taken out. After the Diva Bomb, but here comes that revive. Or 76 is out of the game right now. Sam's holding down the front, trying to take on those tanks in the Diva by himself. Bubbled our Ryan so Ryan stays alive a little bit longer. Let's flip the camera around. Oh, Echo cloned the Reinhardt. Now, this is the one thing if you guys don't know anything about Echo, is that as Echo battles through the game and they clone the opponent's hero. They can they build up their ult so fast they can ult multiple times in a round. Bye bye. That's unfortunate. USPP is pushing on to the final point. Yes we go. Go hold this high ground right about here. That circle right there where the Raptors are sitting on, that's where Villa Park has to push the payload. No, it's away. Oh, we got a shaddy! A fatty shaddy, but they returned the shatter to Darshan and shattered him by himself. Oh, Darshan has been revived. Oh, another shatter. But there, Reinhardt is no longer in contention. And this round goes to Villa Park with the final barrage by Saint on the opponents. So this is what happens now, right? We got to see Villa Park on the offensive. Now you get to see Villa Park on the defensive and the Raptors on offense. So we'll see what their loadouts turn out. Will they choose a Widowmaker to start off the match to get some picks? Do a little scouting or do they have a different strat? Are they running dive? Are they running goats? Double shield? Well, let's find out. Yes, Nick Cruz. Every Tuesday and Thursday. Tuesdays is Overwatch. Thursday is Valorant. And sometimes we just do random 
streams just because sometimes people like to watch gaming fails with Larios. Ready mm -hmm. for battle. So we're coming out of the Villa Park side of the map right now because they are coming out from the underworld. And heading over to the first I choke. I love flying through the city. Definitely cool. And really up we will. go. Looks like we're gonna see farmer C on our defense side. Yes, sir. Why is Saint sitting on Zenyatta's head? <laughs> uh showing cultural appropriation. Hello. Five. Alright, so they do from the looks of it looks like there is a Widowmaker coming into the game for the opponents. Seems they can pull off any picks, but that <laughs> Farah might not let the Widowmaker out of spawn point. Alright, here's the battle for choke number one. They are still running that Widowmaker up top of church. Looks like Reaper might come around. Oh, decided to come back and rejoin his team. Diva trying to harass the Cassidy. Oh, it looks like the Raptors have made it onto point. I almost want to say they made it onto point a little faster than VP did. Oh, Diva's by herself. Baby Diva, baby Diva. Bye bye, Diva. This is a point where the Raptors should more than likely regroup and then come back in for another push onto the point. This is a good map for double shield as well. Like uh, a Ryan Sig, um, a Ryan Arissa, just to hold this point a little stronger. Oh, they're trying to go around the side. Darshan with the shatter. Taking on the D.Va. Oh, there goes Widowmaker because Saint picked her off. Or picked them off. A little coalescence from Jamie. Trying to take out that baby diva. Why wow, she lasted a long time? Nice little distraction because there's no one on that first choke for Villa Park. So we still have two minutes and 20 seconds in this round. So there's still plenty of opportunity for the Raptors to push through. Yes, Nick, occasionally I play with the team and other people play with the team just for fun. So anything's a possibility. Oh, it looks like Diva's trying to hit to point. Oh, with our Diva Bomb from Villa Park. Took out nobody. Their Reaper just blossomed. So we lost our two tanks, a DPS, and a support. So now it's just the pharmacy combo holding it down. But it looks like... <laughs> looks like the Raptors are going to be able to escort the payload now and push through point number two. And Diva's just up here harassing the Spartans. A little fire strike. Diva's running away. Now it's a battle at choke point number two. Oh, the one cat's coming back. She's got Valkyrie ready to load up. Let's take a look at Darshan, who's got a shatter loaded up, ready to go. The other team is bunched up, but is oh, here comes a Diva bomb. Watch out, everybody. Oh, the Diva Bomb was successful. Took out four Villa Park players, allowing the Raptors to push through a little bit farther. Oh, careful, Reaper. You're going to get hurt by that damage orb. All right, so it looks like the Raptors are actually pushing on to point a little bit faster than Villa Park did. Echo did a clone. Oh no, but I'm getting a little seasick watching Sam fly around as D.Va. Woo! Five player kill streak for Mithrum right there. 
All right, so we stopped them so far. Now they gotta come back from spawn point, which is actually at choke point number two. So it's not too much of a travel for the Raptors, but here we go. <laughs> Thanks guys, appreciate that. All right, looks like Echo's creating a little havoc from above. Let's take it to the skies and see what's going on on this side of the world. Ooh, Saint versus Diva. Pharmacy combo. See, the cool thing about having an opponent, Diva. Oh, who are they nerfing? Ooh, no damage there. But our DPSs are out of the game. I don't know if it was the Diva bomb that caused that pain, but we got the revive from that one cab bringing Saint back into the game. Mithrim back into mech. Oh, Diva Bomb. Unfortunately, the Raptors did pull away from that. All right, pushing them back a little bit. Pushing them back a little bit. 60 seconds left. Do the Raptors have what it takes to come through? Let's see what kind of damage Saint's going to cause right here to hold them off. So reboost on the fuel. Watch out for that echo. Picked up where that Reaper was trying to wraith from. We got a barrage from behind. Oh, looks like our Cassie was taken out. Oh, Diva Bomb coming in from the uh, Raptors. Did not take out any of the Villa Park players. We have less than eight seconds left in this round. Will this be going to Villa Park? Oh, another Diva Bomb. <laughs> no go. Overtime because they're still holding on to the point right here. Overtime's running now. Overtime's running now. Woo! Team two, which is Villa Park, takes the win on King's Row. Let's see. Is there a pog? Oh, the Raptors EDV6 as D.Va. Nicely done. Had to be the D.Va bomb. Yes. Called it. Off the top of the building, behind the line. Woo! Ooh, nice play, Raptors. All right, so this is how it's going to break down now, right? We're in intermission because now the Raptors have to choose the next map of the game. And if you guys are curious, it becomes an escort map, which is similar to what we saw now, but it's not winning the point. Now you're just pushing the payload across three sections of the map. Their options will be Dorado, Havana, and Route 66. Ooh. 66 and Dorado, very nice maps. I honestly really enjoy all three of the escort maps. To be honest, mm -hmm. they all have like one great map design. Two, they're since they have a great map design, they're amazing to look at. And it looks like as I'm watching backstage, uh, it looks like the Raptors are going to do be subbing in some players. They can do it. Yes, that's allowed. If you have subs on the team, you're allowed to swap them out. What a cool thing. Let's see what happens. I hope they know it's the best of five, not the best of three. <laughs> they just got frustrated and left? Nah. All right, looks like they got their two players back in. Like I said, now we got to see what happens next. Is it going to be Dorado, Havana, Route 66? Last week, we did escorted Route 66, and they went pretty well for us. Um, but there's, you know, certain angles of Havana and Dorado that I really like to play on. 
Mm-hmm. Dorado has an amazing entry, first point entry where you can hold the high ground against the offense. And if you hold the high ground well, then it's going to be a tough push. But then Havana has that same exit happening from first point where if the team holds them off without that first point going around the corner, then it's another dub. Uh, so it's it's cool. Like I said, these maps each have like their their cool bonus areas. Route 66 has high ground where you, as a Widowmaker, you can cause all kinds of havoc on the team. Um, but then you got to push the Widowmaker's got to find those shots behind the broken down trains. So, you know, like I said, all these all these escort maps are pretty darn cool. Yeah, that was one heck of a round. It was definitely a good back and forth. It's always that third choke, that third point going into the underworld that becomes a, a nice epic battle for m- most of the really well-built competitive teams. Even in the Owl League and the Overwatch League, um, King's Row uh, is always a, a battleground for either side of the teams playing that map. And it looks like we're going to Dorado, everybody. How exciting. I like Dorado. It's Hispanic <laughs> roots. It's architecture. Here we go. Traveling to Dorado. Initiating match. Here we go. It definitely has that, like, Encanto vibe that like the whole idea of like the architecture and the design that's the cool thing about video games is that when they design a video game these guys really do the research to make sure the environments look the way they're supposed to look Ready for yeah that's magic. very true they study man they study mm-hmm. and did you know you can break these piñatas you can you can I break the piñatas so we'll see if their Ryan or one of them takes a shot at them right here <laughs> Oh, there they go. Broken piñatas. Where's the candy? Where's the dulce? There's nothing here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so what is going to be the strategy for the Raptors? A high ground hold? That is one option that they're at right now. Most people you'll see will hold this area over here a little bit more of the high ground to just kind of eradicate. I've also seen teams do a pocket right here where they pocket the DPS with the Mercy. We got Reaper as Cassidy. Saint as Farah again. Oh, it looks like the Diva's trying to harass the Mercy so that pharmacy combo doesn't happen. But it looks like the payload's moving. Looks like the Raptors might have to drop down to slow down the push. Oh, Reinhardt pinned Reinhardt. Darshan tried to return the favor, but rejoined his team as support instead. 76 is holding the high ground, so watch out for that harassment from the top backside. But payload is going. Payload's being moved. And where are the Raptors? Do they drop? Oh, they're, re- they're regrouping, it looks like. Oh, it looks like Reaper's taking high ground. Here's the pharmacy. All right, checkpoint one's been made, and through the doors we go. One down, two to go. Watch, uh, oh, Diva's coming out of mech. Low key though, even Diva out of mech can be pretty dangerous because of how quick she is. Mm-hmm. That blaster is not something you want to mess with. Gotta be a little quicker than that comes back. Looks like right now. The Raptors are regrouping as they were down four players, now down three, and it looks like Villa Park's pushing the payload. I want to say pretty easily, but anything can happen. The goal is to get it through this area where the Raptors are holding tight right now. Looks like the one cat's got Valkyrie, so she's ready to alt when needed. Give the whole team a little boost. Sam can go primal, as he just did. Called it. He's going bananas on the Raptors. 
I buy 76. Oh, Diva Bomb in effect. Here we go, second pulse down. Now the only issue here is that the spawn point for the Raptors is at the final point, so they have a easier task of coming back and rejoining the team and helping them out. Uh, what happened, Mercy? <laughs> you left your team. I can just imagine right now the one cat on the comms. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Screaming her lungs out, yeah. Oh, Monkey's taking out that 76. Bye bye, 76. It's more like you were 86. Alright, battle for the final point. As I said, the respawn is a lot quicker for the Raptors, but the payload is right there. And it just needs to get right here. Big shout out to the Raptors. They set up the match for today's match, and they gave me more free reign so we can see both sides of the teams and what they do. Whoa, Lucio, what is going on here? <laughs> oh, there goes Saint. Regrouping, ready to go back in. He's still holding all their ults. <laughs> it looks like the Raptors have two ults available and the Spartans have a couple. It looks like Mithram is going Primal Rage right now. Oh, we got a Diva Bomb coming into play. <clears throat> no damage done by that Diva Bomb. <clears throat> a Diva Bomb is definitely one of those where you have to perfectly time when you're going to drop that that Diva Bomb. You want to make sure the opponent team is either pinned to a corner where they can't hide and shield. And then do it when the shields go down because the cooldown obviously definitely helps with that. It's another regroup by Villa Park. I give it up to the Raptors, man. With the spawn point being so close, they're able to hold down their point and slow down the payload from dropping in. We go Sam as Monkey, but Sam has two agents up there to deal with. Saint, remove the Reaper from that attack right there. Sam's harassing the Raptors from behind point. Oh, and a shatter. Oh, Got four of them. Woo. The oh, they're using Coalescence to try to slow us down. They did a Blossom, but the Blossom did not work out for them either. And it looks like... There we go. Good job, Villa Round Park. one goes to Villa Park. <laughs> With another shatter at the end. All right, so now it flips over. We get a C. How the Raptors do on offense and how Villa Park does on defense. Initiating match. <laughs> now obviously Villa Park's gonna be starting from the back here and working the way. And actually not working the way, but preventing the Raptors to making it inside of the almost Aztec pyramid. Mm -hmm. It could be mine. I don't I I wanna double check that myself though, to be honest. Do not want to offend any of my Hispanic cultures. <laughs> <laughs> Ready for battle. Whoa, shooting into the air. Check out that moon. Check out this shot. That is pretty. Is that? It looks like the. Is that the Death Star? Look at the bottom of it. 
Attackers Never paid attention to that. The bottom left? <laughs> the bottom of the moon has a design to it. <laughs> oh, wait. Yeah, that's true. All right, here we go. How's Villa Park going to play this? If I know Villa Park and I know the team, this is their push right here. This is their hold. And obviously, you got these two characters over here flying around, which is kind of funny if you think about the two characters. <laughs> The one cat and the saint. The one two combo right there in real life. Alright, there goes your double shields. Protect the team up there, cause some damage below. The one cat definitely needs to stay closer to Saint in order to create value out of his damage. Oh, we're down Fara. But they're also running a pharmacy combo now as well to counter. You know, you always learn things in the middle of matches. Uh, it's true. Take it down and check out the battle in the plaza. He was really harassing that tank. Oh, there goes Reinhardt. Oh, that 76, that Cassidy is really taking it to our Rhine. Oh, here we go. Checkpoint number one is doors opening. And why was the one cat just standing there? All right, time to respawn, regroup. Right, see how's Villa Park gonna play this? Is this gonna be any hero swap out? Are we running the same comp? We still got double shields. Farmer, she's still up. This is low key ideally when you have the double shield, especially as a sig. You throw the shield up to prevent the Faro's attack. But it seems like they're not worried about Faro up there shooting at them. Right now, sig's eating that damage. Oh, I uh, had noon. Oh, who? oh, a double Valkyrie from both sides of the map. That took out our both of our DPSs. Oh, here goes a flux. I know we say don't hold on to your ults. But that all only works if your DPSs are there and available to create the havoc needed to create value out of that flux, out of that, out of that the, out of Sigma's ultimate right there. But it looks like the Raptors are coming back from their spawn. Take it up to the sky. Reset our camera. Mr. Commentary, are we winning? We won the first round. It's the best of three in a sense. So, yes, at the moment, yes. <laughs> well, we have three and they have one over us? Or two to one? Yeah. Yeah, because we got the three more points than they did so far. Mm -hmm. So those first doors, that was kind of the first point. Can't fly through walls, so this is point number two right here. So if they can get it past here, then it's three to two. And obviously, if they take it all the way in, it makes it three three. And then it's a battle of who can push it the farthest in a certain amount of time. But it looks like they wiped out the team right now. So it looks like point two is going to the Raptors. The payload has reached the it's four minutes remaining. And anything can happen in these four minutes. And like before, how the Raptors had their spawn point at easy sections, so does Villa Park now. They die, they come back a lot faster. We got two ults on the Villa Park side and 
three ults on oh there's a grab We took out Diva. Oh, Diva got revived by the Mercy, though. We got the Faro still in the sky harassing the team. Oh, they got a high noon from the Raptor side. Ooh, they're pushing Villa Park into spawn and harassing them as they come out. Oh, we're gonna see some character switches here. This screen goes away and becomes a Reaper. Oh, round two goes to the Raptors. And to be honest, they actually pushed the payload in a lot faster than the Villa Park did. All right. Now it's who can push it through the fastest. Now it's a battle of time. This is one heck of a match, man. I'm glad this is what's going on right now. It's a great two rounds so far. Definitely nice to see some competition. Yes. Ready for battle. Here come the Raptors. Attackers incoming in thirty seconds. Are they, doing, are they doing a hold from both top grounds? Let's find out. Maybe they took a page out of Villa Park's strategy the last round. It happens. People learn in, between, in, in the middle of a match. Oh, no. They're back to their original strat. A fire strike from their Reinhardt. Flying out of spawn with the payload really fast. Someone just hit the bell. Diva's holding tight. High ground for the Raptors. Trying to harass 76 on the Villa Park side. Took out our 76. The one cat better be careful because... Oh, here comes Saint to save him. He can Diva out of mech. As Villa Park continues to push the payload throughout the point. It's like the Raptors are a little staggered. And there comes Saint back into the game. All right, we got a minute left. Can we push it any farther? Ooh, checkpoint number one goes to Villa Park. I was going to say that Reinhardt's a little by himself there. Oh, we got a high noon that can come out of Saint right now. Here comes the Raptors ready to regroup. And Diva better start eating some damage to, pr to protect the Villa Park side of things. Ah, uh, we have 45 seconds. Actually, low. Overtime. Go Villa Park. How far can you push it? Oh, a Diva Bomb. Oh, nice shatter by Darshan right there. There goes the Raptors. Here we go. Next point. Woo! Next point goes to Villa Park. Here we go. Still stuck in overtime, though. Who's still here? What's causing it to stay in overtime? They're out of time, Mr. Warriors. Where's Reinhardt going? Reinhardt's sleeping and got decimated. The Diva's eating above, taking that damage, protecting herself. Look at all of these uh, supporters in our chat, Mr. Why don't you take a look? Oh, we got a Diva Bomb from the Raptors. 
Ooh, the Reinhardt shield saved the Villa Park time. Oh, but a shatter from the Raptors took down some of the Villa Park players. Oh, Darshan better be careful because Cassidy's behind him. Took him out. Round three, Round three complete. All right, so how much time does that leave the Raptors with? Right, how is this going to play out, man? How is it going to play out? Ready for battle. I'm ready. Is the team ready? I think a stroll with Team Spartan. Hello, Sigma. But he's slow. Just like Zarya. All these big old weapons. And he can float. I don't, I've never understood that. Why is he slow? He can float. All right, looks like we're gonna go double shield up top again. Whoo! Whoa, excuse me, Sigma. Five, four, All right, here we go. Three, two, one. Attackers Gotta stop the escort right here. Gotta stop the payload. Stop the payload. Three minutes. Here we go. Can they get to? Can they get to all six? I have two minutes and 40 some seconds left. Oh, D was going up to harass. Bye bye, got bouldered. Where if Mithram had built up his ult already, little flux, grab up, bring him down. Oh, Sam overextended himself there. Check out how Villa Park's gonna hold it from this angle. I'm gonna get that Reaper. Reaper be reaping. All right, so right now the Raptors do have the have the favorable spawn point right now, but the Spartans can actually hold it. Ooh, Reapers be wraithing up top. Probably gonna drop down and harass them for the backside, but they probably don't know. Oh, no, on point. On the payload, trying to get it to move. Ooh, that boulder was blocked by the shield. The Raptors slowly but surely pushing it forward. Shields are down. This is where 76 comes in handy and can tear down that shield from that Reinhardt. Diva out of mech. Ooh! Okay. Good job, I but like I said, the Raptors do have their spawn point within access to the point, so. Oh, a minute. A minute. Can Villa Park hold it here? Are we going to see a boulder right here? Yes. A little coalescence from the Raptors. Oh, bye bye, Reaper. Reaper's wraithing away. Oh, Diva Bomb dropping in. No damage, it was too high and too far back. Oh, here comes a Flux, but they killed our Sigma, so the Flux was useless. That would have been perfect timing to hold him at that point. Ooh, a Shatter takes out the Reinhardt as Reaper stands on top of him and just says, Nah, not today, my dude. Five seconds. Five seconds, five seconds. Someone's got to show up. Ooh, overtime. And now all the VP has to do is keep them off. Get them off the point once. Has to do a team kill on the point. That's what VP has to do right now. Yeah. Baby Diva's out of mech, so right now it's a perfect time to dive in and tackle because they're down one tank. 
Not anymore. I spoke too soon. The regroup is ready. Getting ready to go in. Oh, well, that boulder hit the payload. Get that diva out of mech. Oh, here, here we, we go. go. Villa Park Good wins job. this match on Dorado. Is that game, Mr. L, or do we have one more map? That's... That's three to one. Yeah, that, that's pretty sure this game. That would mean Villa Park takes this from the Raptors and remains undefeated this season. Good job, Villa Park. GG's to the Raptors, man. Well played. Actually made us sweat. That's good to see. Kawhi Wolf on the Raptors side with that healing. Nice job. Look at that. Our Mercy with 39 defensive assists with a 47% kill participation. Talk about amazing. GG's to both teams. GG's to both teams. Well... We appreciate you guys watching and tuning in today for this over excuse me this Overwatch Tuesday. Uh, remember to stay tuned as we will can be back with you guys on Thursday for Valorant. Not sure which team I'm going to stream yet. I'll figure it out come Thursday. But um, this is Mr. L saying thank you guys for watching. Naveen. Oh. Uh, and this is Naveen signing out. See you guys on Thursday. Catch y'all later. Hasta luego. Deuces.